Hello friends, in this video let's talk about how to do the installation of Azure Data Studio on a Windows machine. First of all, what is the purpose of Azure Data Studio? So if you go to the MSDN Microsoft sites, so you will get the clear picture and says Azure Data Studio is a cross platform database tool. Data professional can use this Azure Data Studio on on premise or cloud data platforms either on Windows or Mac OS or on Linux. See till now we were using SQL Server Management Studio on a Windows to do the querying to do the DML operations or or anything on a database side either database or data mart or data warehouse. Now we got a, a new interface where you can write your queries or you can design your stuff in an effective manner. But this is a cross platform one. So we'll talk about the purpose and the need of Azure Data Studio in the next session. But let's concentrate more on download and install the Azure Data Studio from Microsoft. So I'll keep this link in a, a description section. You can download this. If you scroll little down, you have a, a links and Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So here, let me talk about Windows. Windows has three. So user installer recommended system installer and chip. Why user installer recommended is so for this type, you don't need admin privileges on the system to do the installation. It is for you only when you go for user installer. If the other person log logins in the same machine, you won't get the Azure Data Studio since it's a user based installation. When you go for system installer, it's a system level installation. The people who ever logins into the system will get that. So I downloaded system installer as I'm one of the admin on the box. I downloaded that and um, so I, I kept it ready. So you just click on it. It asks for the download. You download and keep it ready. So now I, even I'm doing for the first time on the my desktop. So the basic need or basic hardware software is Windows 10 and above. I have those. So that is the reason why I'm directly going. So I have Azure Data Studio now iPhone Windows iPhone setup iPhone 1.28.0. So this is the recent version which is running now. So let's double click on it. Once you double click on it. So it lasts for the installation. Obviously, yes, let's click on yes. So it lasts for the uh, agreement uh, acceptation. So let's click on accept and click on next. So once you click on next, it, it, it is asking actually even I'm doing for the first time. Okay. So select the additional tasks you would like to set up to perform installing Azure Data Studio, then click on next additional icons desktop icon. Do you need? Let's keep it register Azure Data Studio as soon as editor for support file types add to the path request shall restart. That's okay. Okay, let's put that as well. I don't know. Let's keep this next. So these are the what are all we asked like those it was asking. Let's click on install. So it might take a while. Um, it, it, you can see the instruction. It's a, it's a user friendly installation. You you don't need to write commands to do the installation. It's a kind of easy and straightforward installation. You can see it. It is doing the extracting the files and so and so. Yeah. So completing the Azure Data Studio setup, which are it's done. Let's finish it. That's it. So now, so when I click on finish, it it was opening actually. This was the first window you get it actually. So in this window, you, you, you can read out like it's a kind of friendly boxes. We have customized extensions, keyboard shortcuts. You can customize it. Color theme. You can do it. And uh, you want to find and run commands. You can do it. You can discover and follow. Yeah, these are all. So now here uh, you have a couple of uh, uh, left side. You have uh, connections and uh, notebook, uh, notebooks and explorers and even source control. Yeah, the advantage of uh, Azure Data Studio is it is integrated with the source control. 
we will talk about one by one how and extensions and its user base accounts and manage so here new connection and the new query new on notebook open file and all even deployment you can do it from here and all the documentation uh, we have here so this is how you, you you will get it now so when you click on file you will you will be having couple of options here it, it's uh, you can see what are all options you have and edit uh, you can do some setup here and the view you can see what are all editor layout you can put it split up down and all you have all okay three rows two rows single and all how you want yeah help and you can see what version which is running here as i mentioned the version number is 1.228.0 uh, system setup commit this is a system level one so if you download user level one you will get that user uh, one so you, you can use it here vs code is this electron chrome node.js and windows nt and all if you see the dates it has been just three weeks ago one so click okay so if you click on new connection obviously yes it asks for the connections uh, like if you see here uh, sql server connection type and uh, server yeah connection you have to give authentication either windows or sql login and username password if it is a sql uh, let me set sql i have to give username password let me change to windows and here um, uh, default password yeah database default default and all let me put my server local host windows authentication would be fine so let's click on connect so once i click on connect so since i am the admin on the box i can see this so now you will see like what is the size of the data sample is how much size 8 m 8 mb uh, log file also 8 mb now example there are two database user database are there in the in server in my uh, desktop the one is sample the other one is examples so here you can see databases these are all the apart from the uh, user database I could see some system database as well a master model msdb tempdb examples and sample are um, user database you can see both are on, all are online and sizes you can see here and last backup yeah, if backup was not enabled um, you can do the enable like okay, if you want to know how to do the automate backup uh, you can see the previous videos so in the home you can see the size are, if, if you see the graphical representation so you you won't get this picture in a SQL server management studio so this is the next version of um, uh, SQL Server Management Studio and you can see my what is the version of the SQL Server 15.0 and it's a developer edition 64 bit and OS is Windows 10 home and computer name is Venka type and PC. Okay, so if you want to write new query, let's click on new query and you can write here and change the database name here examples and type here uh, select um, star from it will ask like EMP. Um, what is the tables examples yeah exa examples that emp you can see okay so you you have a run and disconnect and change connection everything like this so we will we'll explore uh, the uh, multiple options on the azure uh, data studio in the upcoming uh, videos so this is how you need to do the installation this is how you need to set up and you need to work like ssms so if you since uh, ssms is decoupled in sql 2019 so if you don't have SSMS, you can use Azure Data Studio. It's up to you now. It has been decoupled from SQL Server editions in um, SQL 2019. If you want SSMS, you need to download separately from Microsoft site for the SSMS. And even you have a similar uh, here, um, split the editor as well. And you have uh, this uh, close all. These are all common actually. If you know the SSMS well, then it's very easy for you to uh, follow the Azure Data Studio, but Azure Data Studio is little advanced than SQL Server Management Studio, but each has their own unique uh, benefits actually again. So let's not um, uh, 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 like um, uh, highlight too much this, but each uh, each one has its own benefit and advantages and disadvantages and all. So we'll talk about one by one in um, uh, upcoming uh, videos. So that's all about it. If you have any questions on SQL Server or Azure or Orbi, please drop your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you.